Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be sharing with you an updated what's in my under the sink kitchen cupboard. So this is sharing with you guys our new under the sink cupboard. I will link my previous under the sink kitchen organisation video as well if you want to go and check that out because I know obviously every under the sink cupboard is slightly different but hopefully you can gain some inspiration on both these videos on how to organise under the sink because this can be a really tricky area with regards to storage. Okay when you open up the cupboard door this is what it looks like inside. There is two shelf bits and the shelves do go back a little bit round there but it is quite awkward to store stuff round there so I tend to stick to having all of the things like my go-to cleaning essentials right here where I can see them and then on the door just like my previous kitchen cupboard I just have these hooks with all of my go-to kitchen and lounge cleaning cloths so first of all let's start on this top kitchen cupboard shelf this shelf I don't know if you can see but this is where most of the pipes are and they are actually quite awkward and quite far forward so I can't store loads to the back of this but I can store stuff sort of right at the front which is perfect because as I mentioned before here is all of my go to cleaning and washing essentials so here first of all I have some dishwasher tablets these are from Audi actually they're called Eco Action my mum picked them up for me I haven't tried them yet but I will keep you updated on YouTube stories how these are or let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried them yourself then at the back here is just, this is actually an ironing water pot, but I use this mainly to water my plants. I've just zoomed you in a little bit more so you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's quite hard to show you guys, but there is like a really small bit of shelf here, hence why I just put this at the back. Then next to it is some washing up liquid. We tend to use this just on stuff that is not dishwasher friendly. So every night we do have a couple of things that we just hand wash. Then this storage container here is actually from Ikea and I believe it was from the kitchen section. I bought this a good few years ago. In this container is two sections. So I have this smaller section where I keep my Harpic fresh for the toilet and next to it you guys know I love my star drops white vinegar then this is the elbow grease glass cleaner and also just the original elbow grease and then at the back I just have some Dettol wipes. I have been using wipes a little bit more. I did stop using them for a while, but especially with the current climate, it's just good to have some antibacterial cleaning wipes to hand. Moving right into this corner here, this is where I store all my laundry items. So in this, these are actually like the curver storage baskets. I have a couple down below, but this one I think I picked up in Poundland. So in here is the Lenore crease release. You guys, this stuff is amazing. I've been using it on the bed sheets and it really does iron out the creases just by using the spray. Then behind this is the two-in-one bold. I really like the liquid laundry detergent as opposed to the powder. I used to use the powder but honestly it really mucked up my washing machine and it was hard to clean out especially because we have quite hard water down here. So this I much prefer. This is a net, a washing net that I picked up from Poundland. I use this when I wash my reusable cotton pad. Then right at the back here is my fabric softener. And although it's kind of out of sight, it's still easy to get to because there's this gap here, you can just tip it. Lastly, if you guys can slightly 
see, I just have this three tier drawer that I picked up in the bathroom section in Wilco years ago. And if you've seen my previous under the sink organization, then you would have seen that in that video. But unfortunately it doesn't properly fit in the front part of the shelves in this cupboard. So I just put it out of the way because it just fits in that gap there. And in there I just store things that I generally don't use every day. It's just things I need now and again. You can still get to it, but it's just a bit more awkward. But honestly, I really didn't want to throw it away because it's just such a good storage unit. So the things I store in there are just the cotton gloves that I use for cleaning. Also some extra duster heads and some magic erasers. And then at the top I have a couple of the laundry lids that I use for soda crystals in the washing machine. And then there's just an empty spray bottle at the top. Okay, moving down onto the bottom shelf. So this shelf has a lot more deeper space so you can fit things more at the back. But generally, again, I just tend to keep things to hand at the front just so I can easily pick them up as and when I need them. These two baskets are the curver baskets I was on about. This one here is really easy to pull out. And in here at the front, I just have my washing up liquid and water mix that I use to clean all the kitchen counters with. Then at the back is some Dettol all-in-one disinfectant spray. Here to the right is the DP bicarb of soda. Then this middle can is the Fabulosa Gold Touch Foam Freshener that I use to freshen up mostly the sofa with. And this at the back is the Flash Multi-Surface Concentrate. I'm currently using this in my Vileda spray mop. I bought it ages ago and I'm just trying to use it up and then I'm gonna go back to using the method one that I've spoken about before. Lastly in this basket is the DP soda crystals. At the back here, it's just this big like Tupperware bowl. I picked this up from Poundland and it's just useful to have if I'm doing any deep cleaning and I need to dilute some sephora and things like that. So that fits perfectly at the back here and that's as far as you can get things. Then in the smaller curver shelf is some diluted sephora. I believe this is lemon zing. I also keep a minky that I use with the pink stuff, the Star Drops pink stuff. Then over on this side, this water bottle just has purely water in it. I use it for my plants again. And this copper basket you would have seen in my previous under the sink storage. This was from HomeSense absolutely years ago. And in here I store my feather duster and also small bin liners and then the main big kitchen bin liners in there. And then right in the corner here, you can just see it poking out. This is like a knee cushion pad that you get in the garden section. This is really good to use if you're kneeling down on the floor to clean things or the kitchen cupboards and things like that. And last but not least is all of my cleaning cloths. But the top is just a minky that I use with the washing up liquid and water mix. Then I have some rubber gloves for the kitchen cleaning only. And here is a minky M cloth that I use to shine things up, i.e. the tap, and then the yellow Spontex kitchen cloth that's from the kitchen kit. So in the kitchen kit, you get the yellow one and this blue one down here. But the blue one I tend to use more in the living room to clean and just other surfaces like that. I do have separate cleaning cloths for the bathroom, but I keep them in the downstairs under the sink cupboard in the bathroom. 
Then here is some white cotton gloves. I get these from Home Base. They're just really handy if you don't want to get your nails dirty and things when you're cleaning dry areas. This one here is, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're from Spontex. They come in a two pack in all different colors. But this sponge I use with the diluted Sephora, mainly just to clean all of the kitchen cupboards, so the outside of them. Then also, so I know you guys have asked me before, I did used to have these white plastic hooks to hang all of my cloths up. They were from Poundlands. I just wanted to find a hook that looked a little bit nicer than the plastic ones. So I found these from Wilco, these small hooks, and they're the perfect size for hanging your cloths on. So the way I hang them is I just use these stationary clips and you just clip on your cloth and then hang it up like that and it just helps them air dry a bit better than scrunching them up and just throwing them in the cupboard. And also I can just see my cloths a lot more clearly when I go to grab one quickly. And that is the main purpose of my under the sink kitchen cupboard, is that everything is accessible when I am cleaning. I do have a storage cupboard that has back stock of cleaning products, because generally now I know what I like so I will just pick up a couple at a time to store just so I have that particular product always to hand. But I really like how this turned out because Ben and I both can just grab things really easily and also see and access everything easily. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and it inspired you to organize your under the sink cupboard. Give this video a big thumbs up if it did. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. And I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.